Hi, thanks for joining me on this video about our affiliate program within SERPWU. Now, in order to access our affiliate panel, just come up to the cog here and select the affiliate program. Now, I went ahead and pre filled in the affiliate details for my login, and it's all going to be fake information. So just bear with me as I have no commissions being paid out to me, and the information that I used was uh, fake uh, for this demonstration. But when we come up upon our affiliate program panel, off to the side, you would see the past 30-day user sessions, which people who are uh, that you have signed up either free or paid. There would be a sparkline chart here. And the money and commissions that you were owed for the past 30 days here as well. As we scroll down, you can see your commission owed, commission on hold, because we pay a net 30. Uh, there might be some issues with uh, an affiliate that you signed up, so those payments might be on hold as well. This is where you would see that information. And you could see how many paid users, free users, other users and total users would be. Plus, you can read our affiliate agreement right here. Scrolling back up to the top, uh, you can read more information on your own time about constructing your affiliate URLs, but we have several ways of doing this, uh, either by adding a hashtag that is uh, a hashtag that you own within our affiliate system, uh, that points to you and to your commissions. You can set that up. We have um, old style affiliate settings where we have a URL variable. And then you can even uh, do some subtracting with S1 and S2. Uh, but this is all available within the first panel uh, of our affiliate program within SERPWU. Now you can come over. Uh, to the next tab, which would be your individual details. Now, again, I filled this in with fake information, uh, but this would be areas where you could put in your company name, contact, address, tax ID or VAT number, uh, your affiliate email, your PayPal email, because we do pay out via PayPal. Uh, again, it, it, it is a net 30. And then your phone number where we can reach you. Now, just because you fill this out doesn't mean you're actually accepted and that you can start running. Uh, we actually need to approve you individually. So once you fill out this information, you're, you're not ready to go. It's not instantaneous. We have to approve you and you also have to send in a W8 for international affiliates or W9 for domestic American affiliates, whether it's you individually or you as a business. We have to have this this tax detail on file. Now, I've dealt with many affiliates on our affiliate program, especially international affiliates that feel like they don't have to send this in. I'm going to tell you, if you set yourself up uh, within our affiliate program and we approve you, but we do not get your W-8 or W-9, you will not be paid. Uh, so, you know, if you fill this out and you talk to either me or my partner or somebody else at SERPWU and they say, hey, yeah, you know, you're approved to be run. Uh, you know, you're approved in our system, but we cannot pay you unless we get this tax information. We have to have this tax information. So it doesn't matter uh, if you're from Belgium uh, or from Canada or from Hong Kong or Australia or even here within the United States. If we do not have a W-8 or W-9 on file from you, and you bring in $1,000 worth of commissions, you are not getting paid whatsoever. So you must, must send in this W-8 or W-9 to us. Uh, you can either email it to us. Uh, you can come down here to the help area and submit it to us. And if you send it to us, uh, make sure we respond back. Because just because you send it to us doesn't mean we actually got it in our email. It could have went to spam. Uh, it could it could have got deleted. If we don't reply to you, then you must assume that we did not get it. But this W-8 and W-9, uh, everybody forgets this in the sin, and then they wonder why they haven't got paid. And I will tell you right now that if you sign up for an affiliate, 
um, and you do not send this in and a year goes by, you will be deactivated also for not uh, complying with the program requirements. Um, it's also important to know that we have a $100 threshold. So let's say that you fill this out, you get approved, you send in the W8, W9, and you send in one uh, paid sign up. And that paid sign up maybe stays on for two or three months on our low end plan. Uh, if you do not hit the $100 threshold, you also do not get paid. Uh, so we do pay out net 30 with a $100 threshold. And you have to have your W8, W9 and be approved within our program to get paid. Uh, when that does not happen, uh, like for an example, this particular login that I've used uh, says the status is poor because I did not fill out a W8 or W9 and it's not on file. Uh, so a lot of this uh, information is also available down here. Uh, you can find out your last payout. Uh, you can find out when you were approved, when you accepted the affiliate terms. Uh, if you're approved for emailing, um, if we've got a payout schedule, what your commission is actually, and your affiliate ID, and if you are active. Um, but it is important to realize, again, I have to stress, again, the W8, the W9. So once we've gotten past that area, you can go to the My Campaigns tab. Now, My Campaigns is where you can actually create campaigns. Uh, so, like for an example, I've created the campaign Upgrade Me. Uh, it'll tell me the date and time. It'll tell me uh, what uh, URL that I could use, like with the hashtag, or if I want to do uh, a campaign with a veritable or multi veritables again, like with the sub tracking, or if we're going to do a traditional usage type of URL. And I can look at all of these campaigns that I've made throughout the years, um, some that go back to even 2015, but you, know, you can come in here, create a campaign. Uh, once it is created, you can use it. I would not start just making up hashtags and variables on your own. You have to run them through our tool first so that we can recognize it. And it's just as simple as just, uh, you know, putting in a campaign name here. I'll do a random garbled name. We'll add it. And when the screen comes back up here, we can uh, start using that now as a hashtag or as a campaign veritable. Uh, you always do want to test these also. Uh, you know, for our sub tracking, uh, this is actually stuff that, that you can put in after the S1 or S2. So let's say that uh, you've got this campaign and you want to call it um, Black Hat SEOs. Uh, because you're targeting black hat people. One of your sub tracking S1, you can put anything in there and it might be a uh, location like black hat world. Uh, for uh, maybe sub ID2, which is S2, uh, maybe you're, partic you're focusing on a particular thread within black hat form. You know, there's different ways that, that you could do this. I'm just throwing this out. Don't, uh, don't do a campaign name made up. Make sure you create it like I've showed you here. And then you can use anything for S1 and S2 to help you further refine, uh, you know, what you're tracking. Now, if we go to the next tab, my sales, I don't have any sales here because I've just made up this profile. But if I did have sales, they would show up here. It's just not pre-populated. -pre so, you know, don't freak out. Don't worry about it. Once you have sales, they'll be pre-populated here. Uh, all I've got is a free user that has signed up, so this is not populated, but all of your sales would be here. Next tab for my overview, you can uh, get a real quick high-level overview of um, your commissions, your commissionable revenue, how many sessions, so people using SERPWU. Uh, you get a time frame break, breakdown as far as today and yesterday, all the way back to this year. How many users that you have, uh, whether these are free users, uh, deleted users, like people who have canceled out and asked for their information to be deleted, canceled users. These would be free people. I'm sorry, these would be paid people that uh, canceled their paid plan and now they're a free user. So they're not deleted, but they're a free user. And then these would be unconfirmed users, uh, maybe people that have clicked your affiliate URL 
and um, came to Serpwu and maybe set up an account, but they never confirmed through their confirmation email. Uh, so this would be kind of like uh, an abandoned cart user, except these people did not confirm their account with Serpwu. You can even break it down by our paid plans. So you can see how many paid users you're ha you have and then what plan they're on, copper, gold, agency, or some kind of custom platinum uh, type of plan. So this is a, a real quick high overview of that. Now for real-time sessions, we're very transparent here at Serplu. Uh You can actually go in and look at uh, the, the recent 200 sessions of people that have came in through desktop, through mobile, through search engines. Uh, you can look at the, the campaign that they came in, uh, the sub ID that they came in their first visit, uh, when we first seen them basically, and then the last time that we've seen them as well. Uh, those, I'm, I'm looking at this area right here. Uh, the current page that they were on, the page that they started on, the referring page, and even their user details, uh, as far as like their browser information, um, their operating system and so forth. So this will give you the last 200 of that. It's really easy uh, to, to look at and get your information. And then finally, you can get your campaign stats. Uh, so these would be basically your campaign names, uh, the creation of those campaigns, how many free users, unconfirmed, paid, custom, refunded, because uh, we do get people who, who want to refund, and that's going to affect your affiliate sales and payout, obviously. Uh, cancel, delete it, and anybody that we've determined as fraud. So you can get a, a quick campaign breakdown that way, too. You know, guys, I've been an affiliate uh, for almost two decades, if not more than two decades, actually, and there's not very many programs, affiliate programs, that give this much information unless you subscribed to your own custom tracker or maybe you are a part of a really big affiliate program like Commission Junction. Uh, but everything else, uh, nobody has this type of granularity and breakdown for the most part uh, for affiliate programs. Uh, so this is, um, I think, an outstanding uh, revenue stream for people that are in the SEO market or in, di or in digital marketing. You can definitely get all the information that you need from us and be current and on top of uh, how many people you've signed up and where they are within the sales funnel and what you're going to get paid. Uh, you know, but I do have to stress again. We are net 30, $100 minimum threshold, and you've got to get that W8 or W9 in, or you will not get paid. And if for some reason you've signed up and then you don't complete it after a year, uh, you know, we're just going to kick you out because we want people who are serious, uh, who are going to follow the rules and, and stay on top of things. We, we, we don't want people uh, that are just playing around and, and not serious. But I hope that this has given you a uh, a good understanding of our affiliate panel and our affiliate program overall. But if you have any questions, concerns, thoughts, or ideas, please hit us up. Please contact us through our help desk or email us uh, or, may, or maybe find us through another channel because we would love to talk to you, love to help you out and, and figure out any issues that you have. Uh, but uh, past that, I hope you've had a great watch and I'll catch you back on the next video. Thanks. Bye-bye.